Bray Wanderers bet Athlone Town 2 0 at the Carlisle Grounds tonight. A first half brace from Ben Feeney ultimately proved to be the difference between these two sides. I suppose both um, teams had some good chances in the opening minutes um, to get the breakthrough. Uh, and Minot was forced into a good save by Jamie Hollywood just two minutes into the game. Um, for Athlone, two good chances could came between the 10th and 15th minute when Noah Van Geren met a corner all alone at the back stake and Joe Gorman had to pull off a decent block. Then from the following corner, Valerie Dahlia whipped one into the mixer, but Thomas Lua headed over. The breakthrough came in the 25th minute when a ball down the line was flicked on by Ben Feeney to Paul Fox. And although it looked like he might have been dispossessed by the Athlone defenders, he managed to return the pass to Ben Feeney and from a tight angle with the inside of his right foot, he slotted in a really tidy finish to give the host the lead. And the second came in the 39th minute when a long Jack Hudson throw was flicked on by Hugh Douglas to Feeney again. And from no distance out, he nodded in to make a 2 0. And just like that, Bray had a two goal lead and it looked as if they were on the road to victory. They eventually would end up there. In the second half, Athlone nearly scored on three separate occasions, but good defending uh, kept the score at 2 0 on every occasion. Just two, just two minutes into the second half, um, Adam Lennon tried to square the ball across the box, but it took a wicked deflection for Stephen McGuinness into pulling off a good save. He had to tip over the bar. Ten minutes after that, a good passing triangle formed between Valerie Dahlia, Thomas Lua, and Gary Armstrong. Gary Armstrong sent Lua through on goal. And just as he was about to pull the trigger, Dean Zambra got back with a really good tackle to tip the ball behind and actually won a goal kick. Just an excellent piece of defending from the Bray centre half. Last good chance for either side came in the 74th minute when some sloppy Bray play allowed Valerie Dahlia to run through on goal. But Stephen McGuinness, again, very good goalkeeping, was off his line like a shot, pulled off a very good save to keep it at 2 0 and essentially guarantee himself a clean sheet. The win now makes a two on the bounce for Bray, whilst that loan suffered yet another defeat in what's been a tough season for them.